Welcome back to another episode. Today is Goat Butchering Day. And I'm just working through and keep that rib meat right there. And uh just going through skinning this thing. And uh I'm a, I'm not an expert by any means. My oldest son helped me build this stand today because the last time I tried to put it up on a fence post and it, it just didn't go too good. So and uh as I get better, I'll be able to be able to uh to do it a little a little bit better, but uh like I say, you gotta get gotta get practice. You have to get practice. And uh, keeping a good sharp blade. I just replaced the blade. Probably go through about three blades on this one. And we did. This is my second time doing this. I did one before. Everything went good. Do this side back here. Yeah. So, start working this down. And I got the water hose, a sawzall, and I want some of that leg meat on there, so I'm taking my time, because that's, that's a good meat right there. Use the uh, nine millimeter to do it. Last time I did it with a uh, a 22, and it was a uh, wasn't it that 22 is not strong enough to do it in one shot. You got like a 45, something like that, then that'll be more than enough to get it done. Just slowly going through here, and this is a uh, you have to. You have to practice your skills on this because it's not a. You don't grow up doing it. Chances are you don't you know, not have as much experience as you would like, but it's the only way to get practice. You got my beautiful wife holding that camera. We need a thousand likes. Here we go. <laughs> it says the man and the woman shall become one. <laughs> Billy was a big bat. Yeah, so we butchered them because we had too many males. Um, the last time the mama had, uh, you know, kids, she had two males, two billies, and uh, yeah, it's just we had too many, and we're trying to get milk, so get the meat off of him. He was a good, he was probably a good 90, 100 pounds, so very, very nice. Gonna eat real good. I'm not eating it. Make mama a nice goat mink off this. <laughs> yep. You don't need you see you don't need no Birkin bag, you need a goat mink. <laughs> Man, what you know about a Birkin bag? You don't need no Birkin bag, you need a goat mink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get it. Get all this off here. Good old neck roast. Now let me know what part of the uh for those that homestead and raise goats. Let me know what part of the goat uh, you don't eat and what part you do. Take all that good information from me. Let's go to the back side, keep working. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, 
like bacon right there. You said bacon? Probably can. Like a little, 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 bit of, little bit of bacon out of it. Like I said, I'm not that experienced at this, but I'm giving it uh, my best. So, Let's get this pelt here. Like I said, I used some basic, uh, some basic lumber. Let's get all this. What is that? Uh, the... Throat. Not the throat. The throat. Ooh, smell like hot booty. <laughs> that flipping up on me. <laughs> uh -huh. Perfect. Right into the bag. This is the guts. And what, oh, so what's in there? Stomach. Some grass? Some everything. Mm -hmm. Smell like mm -hmm. hot stuff. Yep. So that's pretty much the guts right there. And we're gonna boil that and make a nice porridge. <laughs> no, we ain't gonna. <laughs> Be a surgeon, baby. Uh, you would be dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This tastes like a You gonna time lapse it? Yeah, probably.
Don't touch me with them hands. <laughs> hmm? 